personal space sweetie box box don't enter the box <laughs> <laughs> What's in my box? Mama oh, I need to find my salad. Hello? Yeah, where are you? Hello, good morning and good day and good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Retro 70s Kid. I'm Gav. Some people have called me Gavoir for years, but I've stopped really using that name because it's just too conceited. Where's my coffee? <laughs> Mamacita! <laughs> coffee! Mamacita! Coffee! Anyway, tonight's episode, I've done so many Brett's episodes in a row, I thought I would do a bit of a what's in my box car boot find show. So, thank you. Just here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Well done. I feel like the miracle worker. Yes, yes, thank you. And now that's a little bit too. So starting off with, I've been to a few more car boots and are here in southeast Queensland. And look at this cookie jar. Sylvester and Tweety. Cookie. Cookie. Uh, cookie. <laughs> cookie jar. It cost me $2.50. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. You know, it's nothing I would have bought brand new, but seeing it for that I price, it. I thought that'd look lovely in the background. So they can go there just for the time being. And then we've got a few Star Wars finds. Nothing vintage, of course. You never find that at car boots. But this is from the Phantom Menace years ago. Uh, I think it's Sebulba's pod racer. Now it is missing its. It's missing a few things. There's some things on the side, I think. The actual action figure is missing, but it does have this cool action where they're going along and this thing comes out. Oh. And that thing is supposed to spin around and tear the side of the, the pod racer beside it. So I thought, you know, I think it was cheap enough, so I thought I'll get that in. If I don't put it in my great background, I'll probably resell it. So that's that. And then we have in the Star Wars line, uh, it's an, it looks like an X-Wing fighter, but it's not like from the original Star Wars series. This looks like one of the Disney versions. I don't remember which movie it was from, but it does light up, and which is pretty cool, but it goes up again, and I was expecting sound, but it doesn't do anything else unless it's broken, but the wings don't close. I can't find any buttons anywhere. So it's just a pretty light up X-Wing, so that, that might be nice sort of hanging up. Maybe, we'll see. And even I'm not a fan of the new Disney Star Wars movies. Speaking of which, we've got these. I got these at the reject shop, I think, for $7. All the new Star Wars lines are just... No, I wants them. And I only got it because I want the... This little B, uh, BB-8. Um, it's the only thing I really liked about the... The new move. Where is? How do you open it? Oh, there we go. So I just really wanted to. Oh, you know I just can't be bothered. So, <laughs> and I love these black series. They've had these black series at the reject shop for twelve dollars. I think I've gotten them cheaper in the past. But for 12 bucks, I thought I'll get a General Leia and a Han Solo. And they're beautiful. I think they're eight inch size. But uh, they're lovely. I won't take them out of the box because you would have all seen them reviewed before. So a few more to add to my little tiny newer Star Wars collection. And, and on this, this is vintage. This is real vintage Star Wars now. I made this when I was, well it was, might have been 1978, 79. In Sydney where I lived, we had the, the, the Daily Telegraph and on Sunday you had the Sunday Telegraph and I think the Telegraph is still going. Is that still yeah, going? Yeah, it's still going. So in the Sunday Telegraph and the comic section, they released a Star Wars comic book. Great cut, Mama Cita. 
and I won't go through it all, but it's it's actually its own original little story. And I think this would be as rare as hen's teeth. I've never seen it shown. I've never seen anybody else have it, and I cut it out and stuck it in this, trying to make my own little comic book. But it, it was really interesting. It went on for a little while, but um, then just fizzled out. But I've got some actually out of the newspaper that I hadn't cut up, but um, I couldn't put my hands on it. How old were you when you cut this up? It, uh, 11, I think. Maybe 12. So I'll just flip through that. There's new, there's new characters and there's some of the original ones. The Millennium Falcon. Um, it's far more recognisable than any of the new universe the Disney's trying to do, I feel, anyway. Yeah. And that's what's there. That's one I had stuck in. What's on the back? No, I thought it might be some cool old advertising. But yeah, just that. I'd sell that one day if anyone was interested, but... um. What would you charge for, charge for that? Do you like my artwork? Look at my artwork. It. I love it. 11 year old. Yep. Freehand. Don't I didn't trace job. it. Good job. And there's a little sand crawler and a little. I don't know what that is. And I'll put a meteor in and a, a satin. Sweet. I like those stars. Yes, my artwork from back then. Um, and, oh, oh, oh! These are really cool. I don't use these because I love them too much. Oh, what do you think them. these are? Baby love, my that. baby love, I need you, oh how I need you. They're dish brushes. It's spongy, it's Amazing. dish brush. I love them. I think they are so funky. This chick's like got the beehive from the 60s. Amazing. Oh, that's just awesome. And she's like a bottle brush. And then you got these two. I don't know. It's it's like um. They're funky. What's her name? Tina 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 and Ike Turner. Yeah, Tina, <laughs> Ike. Yeah, Tina and Ike. Well, that's how I look at them anyway. So, haven't seen those before, but they look really funky. In the, I should put them in the background actually. Yeah, you should. So it's those. Uh, yeah, and this this doesn't work unfortunately, but. Oh, good on you, I didn't dust it. This is uh, an old 60s music box. Maybe it might be like a jewellery box. Um, it has been overwound, I didn't do it, but it's got little drawers in it. And it's a, what is it? Musico. Musica. But this looks nearly identical to the Cindy. Cindy, the Cindy line had uh, one like just like this which was a radio, and this is a radio too. It winds up at the bottom, and it's a radio, but I'd be stuffed if I could find where the batteries go. I can't find anywhere to put the batteries, anywhere. But I, when I got this, I got these also at a car boot. I don't know if I've shown these before or not, I can't remember, but these are some funky, look at these chairs. Oh, they're great. Handmade. Very 1970. Like for a bigger doll, but they go with this perfect size. Don't they ever? And this actually plays the radio. If, it, the if I could find where the batteries go. Oh, there's just a vintage fan, like pencil sharpener, which can go on there as well. And that's about it, really, I think. So that's my little haul for the night. A few little interesting things. I love the fan. The fan's cute. The, yeah. There's some lovely little pencil sharpeners in this like vintage great. range. There's some great little items. I love it. And I think it looks great in spins. Oh. I need that now. You do. Pull you down. <laughs> it feels like a fairy fart. A fairy fart. Mm. Oh. Have you experienced one of those? Not as yet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. On that note. On that note. Um, oh, I just have a little shout out to do. Um, one of my lovely subscribers, Shay, um, I just, without saying too much, she's not very well at the moment and I've sent her some dolls. So Shay, hello. I hope you're doing well. All the best from everyone here at Retro 70s Kid. And I hope you enjoyed the, the mermaid dolls that I sent you that you collect. So all the best to, to Shay and thank you for subscribing. 
And thank you everyone for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you very, very shortly. Thank you and good night. Thank you so much. Well, you've used the big mug. Thank you. I just need a sip. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> you want to feel a burp? A burp? Oh, excuse yeah. <laughs> 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 me. Excuse me. Oh, excuse moi. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. No. Good evening. <laughs> no. <laughs> she started me off. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Now I'm flushing. <laughs> Hello. No, that's not. Hello. How did I do it before? Good morning. Good, good, morning, good morning, morning, good day, okay. and good, good evening, okay. wherever yeah. you are okay. in the world. Yeah, in the world. Hello, good morning, good. <laughs> <laughs> good morning. Hello? Hello? <laughs> uh, okay. Are you recording? Okay, I'm starting again. Yes. Hello and good morning, good day and good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to Retro 70s Kid. Yay! 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 <laughs> Ooh, we got it. I'm Gav. I've been known as Gavwa. There's a certain little group of friends that have called me Gavwa since the 80s, but um, I've stopped using that name because I feel it's just too conceited. Mamacita! <laughs> Coffee! Where is she? Anyway. Tonight's episode, because I've done so many Bretts episodes in a row, I thought I need to do something a bit boyish, maybe. Um, and I'm doing, thank you, just here, just here, just here. Oh! Thank you. You just can't get good help these days. Mamacita! First aid kit! Shall we just. Do I come too close? Was that what it was? <laughs> Personal space, sweetie. Box, box. Don't enter the box. <laughs> Don't enter the box. Boundaries. What's in my box? Mama, yeah. We've gone a little bit off track. Shall I start again? Start from Mama Sita. Oh, I need to find my sanity. Hello. Yeah, where are you? I'll start again. For Take the coffee. Take my coffee away, please. <laughs> Get your shit together, lady. Oh, I feel like we're going to <laughs> Okay. Hello and... Oh. <laughs> oh. The lanai doors were open. Okay. I see that. We ready? Action! Uh, hello and welcome. No. Hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> hello? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> hello, welcome. No, no, that's not, that's not right. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello, good morning, good day, and good evening, and welcome to <laughs> Retro 70s Kid, wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is. <laughs> Oh, that was a mouthful. Mama Sita! Where is she? Is she in the library? I've left a coffee somewhere.